am playing the, the keyboard wirelessly to the iPad recording in Reaper at the same time. Playing synthesizer on an iPad with audio out high quality via audio bus studio mux to your PC where you can layer tracks, mix and record and get professional sounding results. Hi, this is my first video. I'm recording audio or I will show you how to record audio from the iPad using a synth instrument on the iPad to Reaper on the PC. I'm going to connect my keyboard a Nectar Impact GX49 to my iPad wirelessly with a Yamaha U D BTO1 adapter that is connected to my keyboard and then have the iPad go to the PC and then to Reaper to record the audio. When you plug in the iPad Windows iTunes it appears. Now let's go through stages. In a box here I have MIDI. I'm going to use MIDI sound control which will connect the Bluetooth of the UDBT01 to MIDI. You hit the wheel up here, you see Bluetooth MIDI device. Let me zoom in here. And then you hit that, and it says not connected. You see the device UDBT01, that's the device over here. Well, we want to connect it, so we hit here, we tap that, and suddenly, guess what? It is connected. What I do is I hit the home button on the iPad and I try to get the connection so that it stays right on that intermediate screen right there so I can reference it. Now, let's go into our synth and get, launch um, Synth 1, Audio Kit Synth 1. It's an amazing, brilliant synthesizer. Get volume. Okay. Go back to the synthesizer and you can hear it's one of the sounds. That's the dream sound. You can have dark towers, which is pretty cool. You hit show, you get the keys. You know, everything that you need to wake up and feel alive every morning. Now, we want to connect it wirelessly to the keyboard. So what we do is we need to turn on the keyboard and let's see, maybe it's already connecting right now. There we go. I'm playing the keyboard and it's wirelessly playing. And that's fine, we're using Synth 1 on the iPad and we're playing it wirelessly with our keyboard. But what we want to do, what we want to do is we want to record that in Reaper. Right here, Reaper, Reaper. On the PC. So you go into iTunes and I have it here iPad Pro 12.9 inch second generation. Basically, I have connections options checked sync with this iPad over Wi Fi. iTunes is connected and uh, it's connected also by wireless Wi Fi to the PC. Now, here we are with Reaper. Now, in Reaper, what we need to do is we need to right click the record button. I've already set this up. We're recording output as stereo and the input is stereo. Now I am using over here for source Reaper preferences, I'm using wave out for this first demonstration. Setting it to 32 bit, 96,000 hertz, whatever. You can use higher quality audio cards, in which case instead of wave out, ASIO drivers. What we need to do, let's go to Studio Mux. Studio Mux and Audio Bus 3 are the two apps you need to get on your iPad. Now, Studio Mux is also known as Zero Debug. It has a server file for Windows. And you can see for Mac, whatever, for Windows. You need to download this server file and install it on your PC. In your FX, you go to your Instruments, VSTI. You look for Studio Mux Generator. It says no device connected. Connect device first. You've already gone over here and downloaded Studio Mux server. I did the Windows 64 bit. Zerodebug.com 
slash Studio Mux. You installed it in your PC. I pinned it to the taskbar. I go to the taskbar, right click icon on the taskbar, and then right click Studio Mux and you get properties. You launch properties and you go to compatibility. And this is very important. You check, run this program as an administrator. Double click the icon on the iPad. It says yes as an administrator. And then it's here. Now it still says no device connected. Connect device first. Well, that's because we need to go into the iPad. Let's get out of uh, the studio audio synth. We need to launch audio bus. So we go into our MIDI connection folder, audio bus three. Now, it's very simple. You take the first input on the left and you look for the Audio Kit Synth 1. Now watch, it will launch. Once that icon is rock solid, you can even launch the icon and test it. It works wirelessly. You go over to your icon here in that left arrow. You hit the left arrow, you're back on the panel here. You go to the right panel where there's a speaker and you choose Studio Mux. Now you see how it's rock solid. Okay, port unavailable, load last session, no. It's right here. You hit the audio bus, you hit that left arrow, and you're back here on the panel. Now you go here and you launch Studio Mux again. Now, Studio Mux, once you launch it on the top here, it's solid both as an output here and as an input here. Now, down here, you have a speaker. So you're going from Audio Kit Synth 1 to Studio Mux output, then Studio Mux input to speaker output. The iPad does this automatically. Now notice you can still play your keyboard. And notice up here, it has changed from Brewer's, from no device to Brewer's iPad, my name is Brewer, and Channel 1. But well, we want Channel 8, because on the Studio Mux icon, when we go in here, Studio Mux and Audio Bus are both on channel 8. Right there, channel 8, and that's where they are. Um, so we go out of here, back here to the, I like to be on the synth one, right here. And we go up here and it says channel 1. Now you take your mouse and you try to drop down to number 8 where it says synth 1. Now there you go, your synth 1 and Brewer's iPad, or whatever your iPad is named. Bring up the master control here, okay? Master control. So now that said, in Reaper, to start a recording, you hit control R, control R, and it starts to record. Now I'm hitting the keys, and you can see a WAV file. Now you can also hear the, voc the audio coming out of, I have an Aventone speaker for my USB output. So let's go back here to the WAV file. This is just out of the iPad right here. I am playing the, the keyboard wirelessly to the iPad recording in Reaper at the same time. You can create layers. We go down to uh, modular super analog number 45 we start recording. Then we add the second layer. And now for a dreamy uh, synth layer, again playing this from the iPad. See, you can see I'm playing the keys here. It's wirelessly playing the iPad. We're going to overlay that into the Reaper. And let's do it now. Let's play back through the Aventone speaker mono. And you can mix Reaper, you can mix the um, volume by just bringing these WAV files down in size a little bit. The result of recording layers from the iPad synth to the PC 
can be something like this. This is the quick recording mixed down to three tracks. On the fun side, after we have our WAV file, I open up Adobe Edition 3.01, which I have the license for, which is software a year, a couple years old. It's still works though. It's a great audio editor. W Edition one, come on, there we go. I open up the track we just made, the two track mix down, and there it is. But I happen to like working in Spectrum View. You have to go there, and there we go, like that. Now. I clean up any si sound in the beginning to make sure it's absolute silence. And then I do the same thing at the end. Give some two seconds of silence at the end. And we'll go here, listen to it down. Right about there, it's quiet. And that's where the, the picture gives out. So we'll just go here, make sure that that is silent and then go here to here and fade out on the favorites it says fade out there we go and we have just created a really nice fade let's go to the whole track and listen down to it That is the result of recording AudioKit Synth 1 as an instrument in an iPad and playing it back on a PC, recording in Reaper, and polishing the sound in Adobe Edition. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Bye. Good luck.